Prior to coming to Paraguay, I knew nothing about it. So I kept my expectations rather low. Being very sincere, when I started this journey, I thought, okay, this is going to be just like another job. Did I have to go and record the things and then go for editing? Anyway, it's so beautiful and thank you so much for bringing me here. I really appreciate it, Tulio. <laughs> oh my God, this is not easy. about the new age. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't remember. Those glasses about what to begin. begin. <laughs> you have to ask the street. Teacher, please, can I go to the bathroom, please? We are in... Do you want to say the name? Um... <laughs> okay. But as soon as we started recording our first video, I got so excited. Okay, faces to hearts, I'm here with some very special, powerful women. And they have something to say to you. So, tres, dos, uno. Mujeres Líderes de Nicaragua! Mujeres Líderes were the embodiment of their title. And filming the interviews with them made this whole experience real. The journey consisted of ups and downs. But sometimes, even the downs ended up being up somehow. On our way to the second project, somewhere in Misiones, in the middle of nowhere, we got stuck as we had a flat time. No, don't go. Nobody wants to talk to us. Not even a crowd, Diego. Yeah. It's not a great start of our careers as a Yeah, child. yeah. Not even cows wanted to talk to us, but it sure made a very memorable experience. in the place with them and knowing their realities and knowing the real situation from their perspective. I discover a new Paraguay. A Paraguay that has a very reflexive perspective of its history. A Paraguay that has very good ideas to improve the situation of our communities. The journey of getting to know the places as well as faces and hearts of this country was a humbling experience. And it forever turned an unknown place on the map into a dear discovery. Because at the end, this is what Faces to Heart is about. To travel far and get closer. Shit.